A two-year-old boy was carried into the Doctors Without Borders therapeutic feeding center, emaciated from malnutrition. His little face was sunken and his legs were only as thick as my two fingers. He was so thin that he whimpered when I examined him. The slightest touch hurt. People who give money to this group, Doctors Without Borders, because they feel sorry for children brought up in conditions of savage neglect, are making the problem worse. Sub-Saharan Africa currently holds about 12% of the world's population, but by 2100, Sub-Saharan Africa will contain more than one-third of the world's population, according to the New York Times. They're not going to all stay in Sub-Saharan Africa. They're going to be the world's problem, just as they are now, only there's going to be a whole lot more of them and relatively fewer of us. We have a global humanitarian crisis that is really a demographic crisis on our hands. And in order to avert catastrophe, birth rates in Africa must be brought down to sustainable levels. In the meantime, please, don't feed the Africans.